What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. Uh, it just said our axe, our axe is ready for a pickup. Uh, I am also not. Wow, I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory, actually. Um, let's put magma geode. I guess I need to go take that somewhere. Bone fragments, diamonds now, frozen geode. Wow. A lot of stuff going on here. We'll leave that there, and then what else we got? That in here. All that in there. Uh, the farmer Clint. He's acting up again, and you know what helps? Rubbing that darn, the darn thing with hot pepper. Uh, I think I have hot pepper. I've got this one right here. A hot pepper. Oh, that's a... Mm, do I want to give him a good hot pepper? I want to give him a plain hot pepper. Well, I, for some reason, I thought the corn was possibly, like, harvestable. Whatever. So, let's go get uh, this man's his hot pepper. See if there's anything we can do around town. Uh, catches three sunfish. How? How? Know where the sunfish comes from? Riverfish. Cool. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Is that it shows me where that stuff's at? Geo main. George. Oh, there he is. Right? You're George. Yeah, because your knee's hurting. Took you long enough. <laughs> well, it's good and spicy, at least. For your knee. Nice. So we got these sunfish, maybe? Also, fun fact. Fishing on a console, playing this game, is very difficult. Uh, and quite different than playing it on uh, mouse and keyboard. It's like all I have to do is just like kind of click, 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 and it it feels like it makes sense and it feels good as far as a mini game. But like it is it is really difficult to do on a console because it's like you have a button designated for up and then I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's difficult. Oh, there's one. What's up, Demetrius? Dude, all right, We're on a roll. Do, 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 do. Hey, algae. Oh, I should probably go water my plants. I forgot. Like, I do have to still do that, actually. No chests, man. No treasure chests. There's three of three. Let's go, dude. Um. So, what is all of this stuff? Am I supposed to, like... I don't know, it's just so like trashy and I kind of want to clean it up, but I don't know how. You're not here. Oh, there you are. Oh boy. Come in, make yourself at home. I thank you. Oh. Am I just playing with the fish? I ask you stuff there, the fish go crazy for it. Just, uh, make sure to wash your hands after dipping them in those juices. The aroma has been known to linger for up to seven weeks. Well, so you've been catching a lot of fish? Yeah. Oh, man after my own heart. You can always trust a fisherman. That's what my old pappy used to say, at least. <laughs> well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for you. Ooh. Wrong. Hey, well, business has been tough lately. Start about the same time that old community center fell to ruin. Fish just don't sell like they used to. 
been working double time just to make ends meet. Buddy, no time for me own projects, but if things pick back up around here, I might have the time to show you something. <laughs> yep, she's back there. An old friend that's seen better days. Someday, lad, you'll see what I mean. Okay. That's respectable. Hey, so you succeeded. The sunfish is an exciting catch, don't you think? Sometimes they seem so smart, it's scary. Well, here's a reward. Congratulations. Nice. Cool. Moin. All right. We've made it. He's got my steely axe. Thank you, sir. Uh, let us process some geos. Got a frozen one. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Ghost crystal. What's in the fire one? Ooh, a tiger's eye. Yo, those things are cool. Some iron ore. Some stone. Nice, dude. Nice. Um, steel pickaxe, man. All right, working on that for us. It's gonna take a little while, but that's okay. I think in the meantime we'll uh, clear out some stuff on our farm, and uh, yeah, Maybe we'll look into doing some sprinkler setups. I really want to, but they just seem so expensive to make, man. Like the one that takes just copper and iron, that doesn't seem too bad. The one that takes copper, iron, and gold, that seems pretty bad. Oh, I need to go talk to Gunther with these things. Let me go empty my... all these things. Of stuff in there too. It's kind of surprising. Let's go take care of our chores before the day's over. All right, let's see if we can do the thing now. Nice. Getting rid of these stumps, dude. Let's go. Mahogany seed. Ooh. Wait. So these were old, like mahogany trees that make hardwood, maybe that. And disappeared. That's what's up, dude. money we make maybe a little bit a little bit all right let's go dude um it's raining oh absolutely neutral Right. Well, looks like we've got some corn and some peppers. That's kind of cool. Um, do I have gold corn? I think I have gold. I got gold corn. I'll just throw all these. All right. Let's uh, let's. Let's look at the sprinklers. 
What do I need to make sprinklers? Probably able to make about twenty of those. So twenty is four crops that I wouldn't have to water every day, which would be beneficial, I feel like. start to like spend more time adjusting how everything's kind of like set up large yeah I was about to say that seemed like a large egg So look at like what's some a goal we can do. There's a bunch of you guys. That's it. I think I have one of these. No offense. Earth crystal. Oh, I was wondering about that. I mean, it definitely looked like it was something. So I wonder if, I, as I finish those little categories, I want my money. flex but okay I kind of figured that's what it was going to be but I was like oh, that seems like a kind of weird idea but you know, that's what they want to do that's not what they're going to do they know. yo you think Leah likes chocolate cake I like most people like chocolate cake gotta find out I hope she likes it oh hell how many times do I have to tell you I don't want to come back to the city Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Click. Oh. Buddy. Clint. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. Hey, it's okay. That was my ex. Are right, you going to start talking about your ex? Jeez. I guess I'd better tell you a little bit about it. Already? Okay, well, maybe we're a little further along than we thought. I had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. Barely made enough to scrape by. He was always nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life, you know? A house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, parent teacher, That sort of thing. I don't know. I'm schooled. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Clint. I had to leave, so I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. Is that selfish of me, Clint? No, it had to be done. You're right, I just wouldn't have been happy back there. It was better for both of us to end an unsustainable, unsustainable relationship while we were still young and flexible. 
Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about the art show idea you had. Working on some new sculptures to display at the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with making Stardew Valley a premier art destination, Clint. Yeah. I am. Oh, okay. Kick me back out, huh? Ooh. Maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. Something spicy. It's a really nice gift. Thank you. Oh, gold tier friendship? Yeesh. All right. Please buy my stuff, sir. He will. Yes. I'm going to keep the forest sword and the crystal dagger, but I don't need the rusty or the wooden or the steel. Dark boots. I have... I have firewalker boots, don't I? Yeah. That's really good already. 8 to 18 damage. sword, I think. Anyway. That's cool. That. I, you know, I, ju I literally was just thinking as I was walking past Linus's house when the next train would come through and how often that happens because I was like thinking back to it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's encouraging bad behavior to go steal all the stuff that falls off the train. I was just thinking about that, dude. That is crazy. What happens if you jump in front of it? I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to test it. <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to. Oh man, I should have. ran in front of it now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, a little bit of cash, not a lot, but, you know. I'm, I'm interested, I think it's not to this day, but I think it's the next day, is when all of our stuff's gonna be harvestable. Oh, just kidding. Nice! Making lots of money! Oh, something looks like it got... Don't eat the poppy. This. Running out of room in my inventory. things now. Let's, uh, one, 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 and then, like, one, 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 mm -hmm. all the rest. I like that. Nice. Make some moolah. And then I need a scythe. 
scythe would probably be in here. Uh, get all this stuff down because. Ooh. How do you, how, do I have to hoe? How do I get that? How do I get that? Oh, I axe it. So you have something for me? Thank you, sir. A steel pickaxe. I wonder if I can go to the mine and bust down that one door and talk to that little hooded fellow. We'll find out. It is. Ice. Where are you, sir? Oh, in. on. Do I have to get all the Dwarven Scrolls to understand your language? Well, that was a ripoff. Okay. That's fine. That is fine by me. I probably have to get all the Dwarven Scrolls and Gunther's gonna be like, Oh look, I can understand Dwarf now. Here you go. Duolingo for dwarf. The little his might be over. It might be redundant. Uh. Yeah. Pretty much like that. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Right. I feed the chicken. Raw feed the chicken. Oh, he's got another large egg. Son. I see you with these large eggs. Oh yeah, we better make some. Alright. I think we're going to play an extra day today because I'm feeling like it. Okay, I get an oil maker. Also, large eggs starting to like pay for the cost of having a chicken. That's some money. Alright. Day 28. Of summer. All right, let's see how the sprinkler system works. Yeah, that's pretty much what I figured. Oh. Oh. Okay. Clock PM. Okay. Well, I guess we have something to do today. All right, rock and roll, brother.
All right, so we just planted a bunch of trees down there. So now we have like, you know, res res sustainable, renewable trees. I don't know. We did clear up a bunch, so that's cool. And it's 8.30 now. Maybe we'll chop up like another little something or the other. I don't know. All right, head to the beach. That's not where the beach is, dude. The dance of the moon not jellies has begun at the beach. At the beach. Here we go. Oh. That's cool. What's up, Linus? I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. Some of those, to be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to these blasted mosquitoes. Yeah, I don't like mosquitoes. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. That's Elliot. Marty, Penny. It's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. That's fair. I can't believe summer is over. I feel like it just started. I should have brought my camera. I always forget. I want to see the rare green jelly. Ooh, rare green. Life's so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry one on forever. Carry onward. Moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. These candles are romantic, aren't they? They are. Uh... I don't see anything I want to buy there. Vincent. Oh, I guess I could go talk to these guys. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. I wonder if they're poisonous. Such a rare and exciting thing. Oh, Shane. Oh, this is Jazz. I hope there are babies this year. The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. Good evening, Clint. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. Oh, okay. Most night fish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. There, I just saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. Look out there at the endless sea, deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Here he is, isn't it? I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Oh, that's me. If we keep polluting the ocean, the jellies will surely go extinct. Extinct. It's already in the process of happening. Oh. And... I think I saw some people over here. Kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. Oh, it's past my bedtime. Here. Moonlight jelly, what a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stop here on their journey. There she is. Ooh. Hey, I'm paying my respects to another bygone summer. Ooh. I was wondering if somebody'd be lurking in the shadows. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. I don't see the Uh, Adventurer's Guild, dude. Is he hiding too? How do I launch? How do I? How do, I uh, do I have to come back to you? Yes. Launch the boat. Ooh, there it goes. Oh snap! supposed to be the rare green jelly. The 
click on any of these? Oh, it's coming over to me. What you looking at? I didn't do it. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Alright, well it is real late. And that is going to do it for today's episode of Stardew. It's a little bit of a longer one. A lightning rod. New crafting warp totem beach. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh... Leave a like if you like this video. In the next video, we're probably uh, going to be planting all of our stuff. And yeah. Uh, have you subscribed? Make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bells. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.